You can't do anything in this world without having access to credible information. Russia accused of spreading disinformation that's being echoed here in this country. A viral fake picture followed by a real dip in the markets Monday. Some people are taking to social media to promote misleading information about sunscreen. Because right now, more than ever, people need that. People need to be connected to trustworthy, credible things so they can make the important decisions that they have to make. Hi, my name is Demario Fibb Smith. I'm the Senior Manager of Community Learning at the News Literacy Project, and today we're going to talk about media literacy. Media literacy is a philosophy that teaches people how to critically evaluate all media messages, from advertising to newspapers, movies, TV shows, even video games. News literacy is more about the news element. How do you find information that is credible? How do you find sources that are credible? What does journalism mean? What does it mean for a reporter to do their work? And why is that important to our democracy? People who are news literate are people who can identify credible sources of information. They understand how journalism works and they can also verify or vet claims or information that they find online. We don't teach them what to think about the news, we teach them how. We show them what to look for when it comes to credibility. The general public can be more media literate by stopping and slow down. Just stop and slow down whenever you encounter a claim online, when you see something that might be misinformation or something that you just might feel a strong reaction to. The next thing that you might want to do is to evaluate the source. You want to see where this actually came from. Is this coming from a reliable standards-based organization? Or is this from a clickbait or a third party or someone who can't be trusted? And then the third thing that you can do is to be a trusted intermediary. This requires you to be able to talk to the people in your lives about having productive conversations around misinformation or things that can be debunked. One of the keys to do that, to be a trusted intermediary, is to practice PEP. You want to have patience, empathy, and persistence. Understand that what this person is telling you is their truth and you have to respect that. And then you also have to have the patience to understand that this conversation may be the first of many conversations about this thing. It all starts with respect and slowing down. So it requires us in our daily thinking and our daily tasks to be more mindful of how we consume things. RumorGuard is a platform created by the News Literacy Project last year to help walk people through the steps of fact-checking and debunking. CARES is an acronym for our five-factor system for RumorGuard. The C in CARES stands for context. So when you're looking at a claim online, is this being presented in the right light? The A is for authenticity. Is this the undoctored, unedited version of this photo or video? R is for reasoning. Is this a sound, logic-based argument? The E is for evidence. Do you have evidence that can be backed up? What type of evidence is this? Can this prove what you're talking about? And then the final letter, the S, is for source. Where does this come from? Does this come from a standards-based news organization, or is this from something less trustworthy? This is an important question for the journalism industry as a whole, is how can we improve the public's media literacy? I think one of the things that journalists can do to repair that relationship looks like community engagement, listening to community, actually having those opportunities to talk to them about the work that they do and why they do it. And then another thing that we've seen has been successful are things like explainers, explaining how processes work, explaining how certain local voting systems work, or how certain policies work that affect their lives, or resource guides, helping people get access to certain programs to benefit their lives so that they can be more active in their communities. I think an important thing about news literacy to remember is that it's about teaching people how to think and not what to think. We want to give people the tools and the resources so that they can come up with evaluations for themselves to figure out what they deem are trustworthy sources. We believe that people of all ages and all backgrounds are able to grow their news literacy skills. We don't believe that this is a political issue. We believe this is something for all 
Americans, that all Americans can get behind. If we're able to have a more news literate society, that means that more people will be more active, more people will be engaged, and more people will participate as citizens of our democracy.